Hey everybody, I'm Gold Gas. This episode is about the flow turbine or magnet sensor and the easiest way to remove it. This is on the boilers such as the Potton Pro Max, Main, Ariston, Ideal Logics. It's also on the Remaha ha 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 ha's and also the new Baxis. If you enjoy, drop a like, don't forget to subscribe push that bell notification button as well. If you don't do that, you might miss out on some uh, new videos that drop, maybe some new promotions and new competitions, so it's worth doing. Now some of the manufacturers don't actually sell the turbine on its own, you have to buy the whole hydraulic block. But if you speak to your local rep or speak to your local spares merchant, they might be able to source one that will fit it from a different manufacturer always fit genuine parts i can't stress that enough but there are parts that will fit other boilers out there showing some screenshots of some boiler flow turbines so if it's biazi ariston raven heat ideal potterton's and mains as you can see the flow turbine is almost round there's nothing really much to go on if you're going to get your spanner on there so this tool is ace for this Firstly, remove the hall sensor. If you twist it round, there's a point where it will pull up. So twist and pull gently and it will just slide up. Here it is, the little tool in question. It's called a magic or universal socket. Basically, it's got loads of little pins inside. These ones are spring loaded and you put it over the object and the pins sort of go up around it and they get a good grip on it, so it's perfect for the flow turbine shape. Reminds me of those pin boxes you used to put your handprint on, or your face, back in the day. The beauty of using this is that if you're not changing it and just cleaning it, you can get this around it, and it doesn't damage the top of it at all. So you can get it out, get the new one in easy without damaging that, so if you are changing it, so that's a perfect tool and it's just so easy to use. Depending on the make of the boiler and the model, you may be able to use the arm attachment and get a bit of leverage on it, which is always much easier. If not, you can get a pair of grips on the socket and get it out that way, still easy. A lot of these flow turbines have some issues. Sometimes the red light on the hall sensor flashes means it's probably got a bit of dirt or it's broken so that's a telltale sign if your flow turbine is faulty and you're having hot water problems this also gets the flow turbine out if someone's already rounded it off gets a nice grip on it still worth every penny look at that no more blinking yeah if you don't get one what are you thinking you add me on social media or on Instagram or Twitter then you can find some competitions, promotions and some plumbing disasters as well. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.